transitioning off of basketball, going over to football, unfortunately, Faraj and I, and I feel like for the, the league as a whole, yeah. for the league as a whole, Jason I'm Kelsey so announced yeah. his retirement yesterday, Monday, March mm-hmm. 4th, um, in a very, in a very non-shockingly emotional press yes. conference. Good Lord. I know Peter texted our group I, chat. Yeah, because I, I saw, uh, I follow a couple of uh, different accounts that usually can get like the tweets out faster mm-hmm. than, than, than normal accounts. And I saw like, oh, Jason Kelsey retires. And then it said like via announcement video. And I'm like, oh, so then like I do Jason Kelsey retirement video on YouTube. I'm like, oh, like nothing's like happened yet. And then I see Jason Kelsey like walking out. I'm like, oh, this is alive. Like he's like about to start. And he walks up and he just goes, I don't know how long this is going to be and starts bawling. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is going to be rough. <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. Yeah, that it really pulled at the heartstrings. And I'm not even, again, I'm not even an Eagles fan. Nowhere close. Bitter rivals with them. But I have the utmost respect for Jason Kelsey, both as a player and as a person. And I think that not only was his career amazing, I think his career going forward, whatever that might be, is going to be incredible. And he's like just such a great role model for like both young men and even young women that are watching just like to how to be... because. He himself understands he's not a perfect human being, but that's what makes him him. Yeah. yeah. I so, think yeah. a lot of players wear their heart on the sleeves by being aggressive. Yeah. And it's like, oh, he's just, he's got to, like kind of, Travis, Travis, actually. Like, Travis is a lot. Yeah. He gets, yeah. He's very fiery. Jason Kelsey wears his emotion on his sleeve by like caring so much mm, about just so much. And this isn't saying Travis doesn't care. And this isn't saying that Jason definitely hasn't uh, gotten a little bit fiery at times, but they do wear their hearts and their sleeves differently. Do we want to move inside? I don't know. We can ride <laughs> be fine. All right, we'll be let's fine. rip it. No problem with some warm For rain. anybody that doesn't know, it's about to start raining yeah. where we are <laughs> because this is Pittsburgh. And the second we start talking about having nice weather, yep. it immediately changes. As long as the wind doesn't start... blow the rain at us. All right. We'll be yeah. We're going we're gonna to try. All right. You got a really hard cut at any point. <laughs> Yeah, if you get a real what drastic happened. cook and cut, and then us soaked, you know why. If you hear a loud lightning strike, you know what happened. <laughs> uh, we right, made anyway. we made it like fifty six minutes recording before yeah. we outside before we got derailed. Yeah. Um. But anyway, he yeah he made wearing his heart on his sleeve in an emotional yeah. way cool, and I I will really appreciate it from that. And um, also just bringing attention to like offensive yeah. linemen in general, yeah. which are just the most unsung heroes, but mm-hmm. the truly like the lifeblood of what makes football football yeah. because it's the most selfless position in any sport because your job is literally to hit somebody else so that way somebody else can get the glory mm-hmm. yeah like there's not a more selfless position out there yeah no like, it's, it's incredible and i think of guys like creed humphrey frank ragnow yep um tyler linderbaum uh yeah. plays for the uh ravens uh, yep. whitworth Wait, we're, we're talking about well, centers. He was, like, well, he, he was saying centers. centers. Well, then centers even linemen in general, yeah, yeah. too. You had like Andrew Whitworth. You had Joe Thomas before mm-hmm. him. Yep. Like you have guys currently like Trent Williams, yep. Lane Johnson. Like These um, guys who have just gained yeah. popularity because he's made playing offensive line cool. Yeah. Um, and singing. And, and, yeah, that's and true. I always... Oh, damn it, the Eye of Sauron's Appreciate back. that. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> um, I think about Jason, especially as an Eagles fan, being a part of so many... He started retelling some of uh, stuff he'd been through as an <laughs> yeah. Eagles it's really been through it all. It started out with Andy Reid as his head coach, mm-hmm. moved over, won a Super Bowl with Nick Foles at quarterback, yeah. Doug Peterson. He was nearly the, cut at one point. Yeah, yeah. They flipped the entire roster around for the yeah. Super Bowl that they went to last year, mm-hmm. or I guess two years ago at this point, yeah. um, and has a whole different head coach. And yeah. to think about how many iterations of this team he's been with. Yeah. Um, he has a and, different hairstyle for every iteration. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's been it's been really an uh, awesome opportunity. And through that, he's start, like, started his podcast with his brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Becomes some, one of the most famous fo- uh, athletes in the, in the United in States. The world, or, yeah, um, I guess yeah, in the United States. Yeah. yeah not the but, world. <laughs> and, um, of course, his like, documentary, the Kelsey docu- oh, documentary. Oh, my God. Yeah. His relationship with Kylie, his three yeah. kids. Like, everything about him just been a, a, a pro. And to mm-hmm. see him retire is a shame. But I also know that whatever he's not going away from football no, no not he's not all. he'll he'll still be commentating maybe he'll might coach be yeah, an assistant coach for the yeah, eagles at some point coaching doing his podcast i personally i what i want him to do is do kind of like a john madden thing where he just like goes around to like every single fan base and like goes to their tailgates <laughs> and like just like has fun with them because yeah, i think that would be do awesome that. yeah I, I think a lot of people would watch that mm-hmm. um so Roger, any other thoughts on Jason Kelsey retiring? Sad day in Philadelphia. I mean, you guys said it all. I mean, I think the best thing I saw was on Philly Barstool, where you see a family bring a keg for him. Yep. 
and they pull their kid out of school. Yep. And like that's just the effect like some players have on cities, like mm-hmm. um, especially Philadelphia. Like you know, they're diehard fans in Philly, mm-hmm. and they will do anything. And it's generational too. Like you see kids being pulled out of school, going to the Novacare complex, parents like calling off of work just to send Jason Kelsey off. Like yeah. he's huge in the city, and you know what, Jurgens, you got a big role to fill, buddy. Oh, Jesus do Christ. not, do not let him down. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I was that. What you said reminded me of Kylie had said something about like epitomizing like love in Philadelphia. There's always this talk about like Philly as a whole, like being it's like a, a tough city. It's a tough city, yeah. like yeah. politically, um, like crime and stuff like that. But yeah. also like Just sports general, fans. Yeah, sports fans are very. Um, passionate there they they cause a little bit of havoc do things they probably shouldn't do throw exit cowboys um, fans but when you embrace the city and when you perform for the city they truly love you and mm-hmm. for a, an athlete like jason kelsey everybody in that city loves him i don't mm-hmm. think like there's very few athletes that truly embody their city more than jason kelsey does yes. like when you think of like philadelphia you think of like hard-nosed grit a little bit of an edge to them and just like goes to work. I mean, how many can cons- like he, what he broke the record for most consecutive snaps for our most consecutive starts uh, mm-hmm. for an Eagles yep. player. He had like an ungodly amount of surgeries like uh, in those off seasons, but never missed a game. Mm-hmm. Like he was exactly, exactly the right fit for Philly. And, you know, there's, there's obviously some players that like, you know, you get icons, like you get like a Derek Jeter, you get mm-hmm. like, uh, like a Jason Kelsey. I'm trying to think of like other, I mean, probably a Michael Jordan in Chicago. Too. Yeah, for sure. Even he had like, yeah. a, like a bit of that, like edge to him. Um, like you get like these very there are now there's a lot fewer athletes mm. that really do stay in that one city and represent it like dame represented portland for a hot for minute. so long until and, and yeah. they needed to go their separate ways but like and and we think about it in terms of in football it really feels like it's a quarterback a lot because mm-hmm. um they have they have all the control for the most part as they yeah. get paid i mean and even, it's a center yeah. center, a center which people yeah. sometimes consider center the like the least valuable position yeah. yeah on the offensive line to be good at and jason kelsey did that and i just think about like him moving out like leading run block and just pancaking oh guys God, and because yeah. he revolutionized the center position he yeah made it athletic yeah like obviously there were centers before him mm-hmm. that were athletic i don't want to claim like he completely changed it. their mailman <laughs> they changed you know, the game but, but he like really set a precedent for how athletic linemen can mm-hmm. impact like a run game a pass game a screen game like it like his impact on the game both on the field and off cannot mm-hmm. be understood no more tush push yeah it's a uh, it is a sad day, like you said. Yeah. Cam Jurgens has a big role yeah. to fill. Yeah, he does. Um, but they drafted him for this reason. Mm-hmm. It'll be curious to see. But it's a sad day in Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, it'll yeah. be a sad upcoming season. I hope he can continue to stay involved in the organization. Yeah. Um, but it's a. I reti- think he's going to take Stoutland's role when Stoutland retires. Yeah, I might maybe. work up to uh, a line coach. Yeah, it is. It is just like. It's surreal. It, yeah, yeah, it's like. To see him not be on the field after yeah. like pretty much having him on the team the entire time watching sports yeah. will be weird. Um, but it's like it just such a well deserved retirement. Yeah. Um, after the year, especially like with all the injuries he's been oh, yeah. facing every year, and see how happy he was cheering on Travis oh, my God. during the Super yeah. Bowl run and everything yeah. like that's like. I just hope he has a good retirement yes. and, oh. and can enjoy his time with his kids. Absolutely. So please pull up Brady and come back, please, Congrats. please, Jason, you're okay. Please, congratulations on it. Congratulations awesome. on it. <laughs> A hall, easily first ballot Hall of Fame career, probably a top three center all time. Yeah. yeah, I say this in the nicest way possible. Please do not come back. Yeah. Give yourself a rest. <laughs> yeah, or a break. for the love yeah. of God. And for the Eagles, uh, they for the Eagles they want you to come back, yes. but for you and your children, don't. yeah. But Jesus. even like for the Eagles, they drafted Cam Jurgens for this reason. I know he's yep. been training with Kelsey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, slide him over and get a guard. Yep. And yeah, I mean, you have some guys on the bench and use yeah. some of the cap space to you really figure it out. Um, draft some people in the draft. It, it would have been really cool to have the run where you get Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox back and go, hey, yeah, one more, one yeah. more time um, but with Chuck Kelsey involved. Right. But it's, it's okay. Well, this yeah. was supposed to be the farewell tour, but... Well, I think Fletcher Cox is also apparently rumored to be retiring as well. But oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Farewell tour. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> it's okay. BG's back, though. Yeah. One more. That dude's never retiring. He's going to die on the field. <laughs> <laughs> um, And so moving on from Jason Kelsey, we're going to talk a little bit yes. about NFL free agency. 